the court finds that it properly instructed the jury on self-defense within one's home, including defendants requested modified version of criminal jury instruction 7.17. Given the length of time that passed from a few seconds up to a minute and a half, and that Lewis was no longer actually armed when defendant returned to the kitchen, a rational trier of fact could conclude that the government established beyond a reasonable doubt that the defendant did not, quote, honestly and reasonably believe that Lewis intended to do bodily injury to him, end quote, at the time he discharged the firearm, consistent with the instruction requested by defendant and ultimately given criminal jury instruction 7.17 modified. Defendant relies heavily on four major claims. One, a combative and assaultive Lewis had been told repeatedly to leave the residence by defendant who lived there, and she did not leave. Two, that knives remained in the kitchen that Lewis had ready access to. Three, the back door was three to four feet from Lewis when she was shot. And four, the defendant left and returned to the kitchen in no more than 11 seconds after he had been injured with a knife. Defendant maintains that the jury neglected to properly and fully consider this evidence. And had they done so, necessarily a rational trier fact would have concluded that the government failed to establish that the defendant did not honestly and reasonably believe that Lewis intended to do bodily injury. The court here does not agree. Defendant fails to convince this court that despite these contentions, a rational trier of fact could determine that the defendant did not act in self-defense. Finally, the defendant maintains that if none of the proffered arguments support a new trial on their individual merit, the sum of these concerns rise to the level of warranting a new trial. The court has considered the individual arguments and their collective impact. After careful reflection, the court does not find that the accumulated claims made by the defendant justify a new trial. For all of these reasons, the defendant's motions for a directed verdict of acquittal and for a new trial are denied. 